the tube. Good morning, or maybe it is good afternoon, good evening, good night, good whatever the time is, wherever you are. Today's video is going to be a lesson review, and I'm also going to be covering something new, and that little box there is a subtle hint as to what I'm going to be talking about, uh, but something quite, quite different, so more on that later. So this was lesson 35, first lesson of 2021, which was undertaken on the 27th of January. For those of you that follow me will know that's four weeks since my last lesson. And that is because we are still in lockdown here in the UK. And the last lesson was missed because of my work commitments. And also Michael was spending a lot of time setting up uh, remote learning for his students at school and stuff. So. Uh, yeah, it, uh, it's another Skype lesson, which I absolutely hate. And in this one, it was probably a little bit more down than it was up in some respects, but probably for the right reasons. So we started off just by going through the scales, the pentatonic scales, doing all the different shapes down the neck. I'm not going to go through them and bore you, but they went very well. And Michael either looked surprised and or pleased, and I hope it was both, because they actually went pretty well. Something I've been working on um, most days, and that is definitely been working. Um, I've also had this for quite a while since before Christmas, but I've got a very great sport, and that is helping a lot with the strength and conditioning of my hand. When I first started, I could barely push the little finger plunger down and it's nearly all the way there now. So somebody did mention this to me in one of my comments just recently, and I have been using that for about a month. If, like me, you're a mature person and you have got um, strength issues with your hands, then that is a brilliant tool to get. Inexpensive, but really, really worth it. I wasn't going to talk too much about my hands, but several people have said to me, you know, you often talk about the pain and you're only 50, you know, what's going on? Very long story short, for about eight years, I took a steroid injection for hay fever. It gave me a good quality of life when I was younger and my kids were younger. It meant I could go out uh, in the summer with them and, and play and things like that. And that was great. It gave me a good quality of life then. But... If you read the instructions that came with it and the warnings that came with it, as I had to every year, all in bold, it says, you know, could have this, that and the other. And one of the things is issues with joints and bones. And over the last couple of years, I've got really bad pains in my legs, particularly in the evening and very much so, um, you know, when the weather is a bit damp. It's almost like rheumatism, but it's in your bones. And I actually get that in my hands as well, actually in, in the bones and, and the joints. Um, so that's basically the background of, of what I talk about. And that's one of the things that I am trying to continue to keep at bay by playing the guitar. And that's why I don't have the strength and the dexterity in my hands that most people would at my age. So it just puts that a little bit into, into, considered into perspective is the word I'm looking for. So anyway, the scales were good. We then did Bon Jovi, and um, I won't go through it with... Actually, I will. Let's just do it with the Spark Amp. Okay, so that's just a very quick run through. Um, one of the things that Michael picked me up on was with my bending. Now, I have been playing the bends like this rather than. So the difference there is what I was doing is I was bending up and bending down or bending up and releasing. 
and on the music score that is basically an arrow up and an arrow down and what I should have been doing is just playing the arrow up so as I get to the top of the bend I need to just release the pressure ever so slightly on the finger that's doing the main part of the bend so that it mutes the string so that when you release it you can then play the next note so that's one of the things that Michael wants me to work on um, over this next couple of weeks so Bon Jovi's not gone away this little intro um, but I am still working on that bending technique and it is coming along quite nicely now one of the other things I've started to work on is a David Gilmore study no surprise to those of you that follow me that it's Pink Floyd and Gilmore related. Now, I cannot play this anywhere near proper speed. It's a piece off of Guitar Tricks and it's quite long. It's about three sides of A4, I think, um, and I'm about three quarters of the way through the first page. So bear with me and we'll just see how this goes. <laughs> one more time so I've still some work to do on that I'm still just catching my finger when I'm doing the bends occasionally that's something I need to work on the slide could be a little bit cleaner and then the actual last three notes there are a triplet and I'm not playing them anywhere like a triplet. So quite a lot of work to do on that, but that's the longer term riff. This I want to be my signature piece, the bit that when people say, oh, play something, then I can just play this. So it's a piece that I'm going to be working on for quite some time. Uh, Michael was quite pleased, I think, with the progress that I've made on my own with that. He hasn't actually seen the music yet, I'm going to send it to him. Um, but yeah, I was quite quite pleased. So that part of the lesson went really well. Uh, we then spoke about what's going to come next. And I said, well, really, we need to be getting back into chords. Well, we both agreed I need to be getting back into chords because I haven't done those in a while. And he suggested a piece of music. I said, OK, fine, you know, send me the sheet. And unfortunately, that has provoked more questions um, than anything else. I'm not going to say which piece it is, but basically you get the chord shape and then you arpeggiate in the chords, which is nice and it's something I'd like to do. Um, and it builds on some of the REM stuff that I was doing previously. Um, but when I looked at the music, there was a few bits in there I thought, well, how on earth do you do that? So, you know, the downside to Skype lessons is it, it, it's not so personal and and, and yeah, normally Michael would get the piece of music out, we'd look at it together, he would play it, I would play the first few bars and I would go away knowing what I need to play. Over Skype it's not that easy. Um, so the reviews are great but for learning new stuff not so easy and it's definitely the downside. So I have kicked that into touch for the moment and I'm going to pick that up again uh, when we come out of lockdown and we can actually get back together. So in the meantime, I'm going to be working on the pentatonic scales. I'm going to be looking at just noodling the A minor pentatonic over an A minor backing track that somebody suggested to me, which I think is a good idea. I'm going to be doing that. Um, but also my Rocksmith video that I uploaded a while ago has been getting some traction lately. And quite a few people have said to me, you know, what is the gameplay really like? How good are the lessons in it? How, how good is it at following along uh, with a song and, and using it to learn a song? Um, how good are the games in there and things like that? So uh, what I did is, is I, I actually loaded it up for the first time in ages last night. And I did a live stream, not something I've done before. Um, you know, something new, something different. I was on live for about an hour and a half, was not expecting anybody to watch it at all, but people were popping in and popping out from time to time. That's been as boring as anything. Uh, Jeff, one of my subscribers, he popped in. So thank you, Jeff, for finding that and, and popping in, which was really great. 
Um, but what I'm going to do to answer the questions that people have got, and let's just backtrack a second. A lot of the Rocksmith videos are up there of people doing fantastic stuff. You know, they're playing along to their favourite tracks after they've been playing it for quite some considerable time, and they can they can cover the song pretty well. What I'm going to do, as I've done throughout with this channel, is I'm going to be going back to basics. I'm going to choose a lesson, choose a game, choose a song. And I'm going to dedicate one live stream to each of those. This was a, an idea that somebody had. So last night was an hour and a half and I did a whole load of different things. And somebody said, you know, it'd be great if you could just you know, divide the live streams up so that you just pick, you know, one element and then you can upload the videos because a lot of people will be looking at the videos afterwards. You know, just pick one element and, and do a live stream and a video on that. Um, I'm also going to get the PS4 camera set up so that you'll be able to see me playing. And last night I was very quiet, but I'll probably get a little bit more vocal about how things are going and what I'm doing. So I'm going to be doing those over the next few weeks, not necessarily one a day, because I want to divide my time between my lesson practice and the tasks that I'm given by Michael and also playing on Rocksmith. Um, but that is something I want to do. It, hopefully it's going to answer your questions about gameplay. You're going to be able to see more about you know the games that are in there and hopefully it will build into a nice little library of videos to promote the game. Um, I have started to get into it a little bit more just recently and I think that is something that might be quite useful. So those videos, um, there's only one up there at the moment. You'll be able to find that. They're very long. Um, obviously, hopefully doing bite-sized chunks will be easier. Um, but they're on the videos tab on my channel. And you have to go to videos, uploads, and then past live streams. And then you'll be able to catch up on those videos afterwards. So I know that Rocksmith isn't for everybody, but there are quite a few people on here that have subscribed to me because of the Rocksmith video and for that reason I thought I would do those. So anyway, that's it. And so that's this video, lesson 35. It was a good lesson as far as progress is concerned. A bit of a grotty lesson because it was over Skype and you know getting a new song off the ground hasn't really happened. But the upside of that or the flip side of that, however you want to uh, to, to to consider that, is that I'm I've come up with this idea of doing this, this Rocksmith thing. So um, there's something good that's come out of a grotty lesson. Let's just say that. So anyway, I'm going to get set up and I've got to pop out for a short while. Oh, hang on a minute. Bear with me just a moment. The door's just gone. Hold on. That was exciting. I've got a new box. Um, I wasn't expecting this until Monday and it's just turned up. This is something I bought from Anderton's, my first Anderton's order. Um, I know what's in here, obviously, and I'm going to keep this for a box opening and for another video. So I may well do the box opening later this afternoon, and I will then work out how I'm going to use what's in here and get some experience with it and then I'll be doing a um, an unboxing and a features video on what we've got in here so that is a teaser and well Anderton's rock on it's supposed to be here Monday wrapped up Sunday that's good customer service great first uh, great first order right so anyway uh, where was I before um, just just winding up this uh, this particular video um, the lesson as I was saying went really really well the new song obviously didn't happen difficulties with Skype and being able to see what Michael was doing the when the music sheet came through more questions and answers so I've, I've parked that for the moment but we're going to be playing around with Rocksmith a little bit more so for those of you that are interested in Rocksmith or just want to follow along with my terrible progress uh, with the lessons and the songs and seeing how rubbish I am at the games then please subscribe to the channel 
and watch for those live stream videos which will be going up from time to time on the videos, uploads and past live streams. I'm not going to have a schedule because I'm going to be basically doing the broadcasts as and when I'm playing the game. I'm hoping that that's probably going to be 8 o'clock in the evening UK time. Um, I won't say most days, but whenever I'm, whenever I'm doing them. So watch out for them at 8 o'clock. If you are around and online, it would be great for you to jump on the stream and uh, just put a little hi or comment on there. You'll have to excuse me if I don't respond straight away. Invariably, I am concentrating so much on the lesson that I don't notice the comments coming in. Um, but they are obviously all very welcome and it would be great to see you on there. And the difference between obviously the live stream and the videos is I can edit the videos. Uh, for instance, just a moment ago when I was setting up the, um, the loop, I got the volume all wrong and uh, the first time I ran through it, it wasn't great. I've edited the video so that it's got the second time through playing Bon Jovi. Um, with the live stream, you can't do any of that. It literally is what it is. You will see this horrible guitar beginner playing um, in the raw. So, you know, it, it's gonna, that's gonna be another interesting part of this journey to document. So anyway, thank you very much for watching this video, a bit longer than I expected. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber, thank you ever so much for your support. It's very much appreciated. And I will see you on another video coming very soon. When I'm going to be unboxing this. Yay! Can't wait. Catch you later. Bye-bye.